The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the basic principles of a, our templates. We've chosen to do this in 2003 because it's easier in the first instance to see how they work. So initially click File New and that'll open a panel which gives you a choice of templates. Now in this instance I'm going to choose letter dot dot down here because um, I've just been using it before and it's kind of simpler but we can get into a number of different choices if that's helpful. Clicking on letter dot dot opens up a dialog box. Now you just have to start typing now. You don't have to worry about layout at all. You can copy and paste stuff into this and the template will then populate the actual letter that you're going to use and lay it out as per the designer's instructions or whoever for that matter. So let me just fill in this address. When I get to the end of this I simply tab to go into the next field. So there we go Nikki and again I will tab to go into the subject area. Now if you for instance didn't put in a subject then you wouldn't have a blank line the letter it would just the letter would close up. Now I think we could usefully CC this to someone and I think we will also put something in the letter so we will tick on the enclosures in a second and then I don't like it to be strictly private and confidential. Now who am I going to, is this coming from? I think it's coming from Kathy Sutton. So I use a drop down. Now when I click on default when I re turn to this computer that will be the name that's up here. So clicking on OK populates the letter, lays it out exactly as per the designer's instructions. Now all I need to do is start typing now and the cursor is ready to go and where the body copy will go in. Now you'll see here that there are the boxes around the fellows associates and uh, the address are a function of the non-printing characters that appear in Word. So when you send that to PDF or to print it, those obviously won't appear. Um, but it's a function of the way the template is built that you see it as you're, as you're using it. But what we can do in a second or two, if we go to print preview, we can just check that the final outcome as we want it. So there's the print preview coming up. That's how I expect it to be, so I'm happy with that. I close. Now, um, when we come to print it, we can either print to plain paper to do a draft, so it'll lay it out in black and white of your laser printer very quickly, or we can um, stop and go on to the print on headed paper. Now that will temporarily suppress the logo so that um, when you put your headed pre-printed headed paper into your printer it won't overtype that thing. So you print up the normal dialog box and if I click OK you'll notice temporarily that logo disappears and it's all done. So that's it. That's one of our templates in action uh, and I think you can see how easy it is to use. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.